I am gonna lock in focus right on Chris's chest at this point. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it. I know, sorry about that. I just wanna lock my focus in. Go ahead. What am I looking for here? I wanna have the action at the very peak. I like that. All right, hold, slow down, slow down. I'm gonna get you, go a little slower this time and you don't have to take your aggression out fully, I'm gonna to try to get you at the peak action. All right, hold, 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 I just gotta lock focus, go ahead. Boom, boom. I got him with the peak action there, but then it blocks his face. So you keep going, I only need 75 more. I like that. All right. Leave it like, like it's right at the end. I want it right at the end here. Uh, and just hold it, hold it right there. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna look for. And I'm actually gonna switch lenses again. I wanna get the longer lens out. Turning my camera off. Breaking out the 70 to 200. Lens cap is off. Let's see what we've got from here. Oh, that would not be a good photo. Yes, I'm not gonna take that photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. All right, hold it up over your shoulder like you're a badass. But just let it rest and you're gonna look at me like uh, uh, Bunyan, what's that guy's name? Paul Bunyan, yeah, Paul Bunyans. I love this background, I like that. Yeah, just let it, actually, can you take your shirt off? This is for the ladies at home. We'll have a pose off later. Rosa never takes his shirt off. You never take your shirt off? Do you not want to take your shirt off? It's already off. You might as well just go with it. What I want you to do is, I want you to put that over your head. I know, I know. If you want me to take my shirt off, see, look at that. Look at, look at the traps on you. Do you do a lot of these things? You just have natural traps. Holy, tra oh, this is good. This is like, this is good. No, this is, this is, oh, geez, you want to see this? You really want to see, you sure? Look at that. I don't like it. See? Keep, keep doing it, though. You can't put your shirt on yet. So what I like about this framing, we've got the, the what are those called again? Squat racks? We've got the squat racks. Chris is right in the middle. And to get him in the middle, I'm moving just to see what's going on here. I love the symmetry. That looks awesome. Keep doing that. I'm gonna try and get this tire in here because it's part of the story. We know that the hammer is what hits the tire. The tire needs to be in the frame for at least one of them to tell the story of what's going on. Does that all make sense? So we're trying to get that. This is a cool, this is awesome because the reason I asked you to take your shirt off is because you're in good shape and this shows the results from what you're doing. You're doing all this and this is the payoff. So for anybody that wants to do that, to look like you, they could be part, you know, they just need to do what you're doing. That's good. Hold that right there. So I'm just going to get the bottom of the tire in here. Just a little bit of it. I actually want to be at a little lower angle myself. It's all about angles here. That works. In this case, I want you to just step to your right a little bit, a half step, there you go. Oh, this is really good. This is, this is really good. Okay, I wanna focus in on those headshot type things. Okay, put it back over your shoulder. You can let it rest over your shoulder. There you go. Yeah, that, that, you've done this before? Never? Never again though, right? Okay, so with a 70 to 200 lens, I like to be out at the 200-ish range if I have room, because that's gonna compress the background, help it blow out at, we're at 2.8. And if you've noticed, I haven't been worrying about my settings too much, because we lock them in. We, we've locked them in already. I, I'm just focusing on getting these shots, and that's a good thing that you can keep shooting. Really good, really good. 
Keep holding that. I'm just going to, yep, follow me. That's good. That's going to look good. But we also have the light, like you asked earlier, on this side of his face, it's a little darker. But on this side of the face, we've got some light bouncing off the wall. So I like, oh, this is much better. I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah. See, see what's going on here? What I did is I kept the hammer in there because that's part of the story. If I didn't have the hammer in there for context, then it would just be another photo of a, a, another headshot of the guy. And I say this all the time on my site that you could go to the Eiffel Tower, stand under it, and take the tightest headshot ever, and nobody would know it's the Eiffel Tower. You might as well have been in your basement in Topeka. Topeka! Which I still have never been to Topeka. But that's, that's, that's what I'm saying here. It's all about context. I focus in on the wide shot, the medium shot, the tight shot, so that it all tells a story. I'm all about uh, storytelling here. 